Hello and welcome to Chrism Acrylic Pouring. We're based in the UK and my name is Chris. This is the dried painting that I'm going to be demonstrating today. It's very graphic and striking and I'm really happy with the end result. My colleague Sam got these wonderful plastic cups. They're measuring cups and they all have lips and there was five in a pack and they're great for doing these kind of pours. So I started off with the iridescent gold and then I added some beautiful Prussian blue, iridescent blue-green and notice that I'm layering it very gently. I've sped the video up but I'm layering it gently so they sit on top of each other. I also added Payne's Grey and this is going to match the base I'm going to be putting on later. With these pores you're alternating the colours. You need some dark contrasting colours to go with the lighter colours and these give the illusion of um, depth and shadow. I've also added a bit of iridescent green yellow but only a small amount and that pretty much disappeared in the um, pour. The main colours I really wanted to show were the turquoisey green iridescent blue colour and the gold and this is what I've achieved. My last colour that I put in the cup was Payne's Grey and this was because on the rest of the canvas I was going to be putting a base coat of Payne's Grey and it meant the ring shape would merge with this. Originally I was going to do a flat ring pour but at the last minute I decided to tilt the canvas. Normally if I was doing this I would have pre-propped up the canvas and I just used my other hand to do this. A lot of people usually put a base coat on their um, ring pores to help the paint move but I find that if I put a base layer underneath the um, paint that I'm pouring onto the canvas sometimes it can rise up and leave marks and spots so I'd rather just do a straight pour straight onto the canvas and then add the base around the um, colours afterwards. So I'm just doing little gentle um, rhythmic movements just to get the paint out of the cup and I carried on doing this until the cup was empty. When I was near the end I just used my finger to catch the paint to make sure I didn't leave too big a mark. Time for super speedy tilting. Okay this is actually sped up. Um, what I had in mind when I was doing my um, tilting was I wanted to have a slope so I did my normal um, hand catcher catching the paint in the corner and helping it go over the edge using my thumb and I was just concentrating on the other edge to get a, more of a slope. When you're tilting you do need eyes in the back of your head and what I mean by that is you have to keep an eye on what is happening to all the paint. Now I knew I needed to cover the other edge of the canvas so I had to do some extreme tilting but I also didn't want to lose the beautiful gold shapes at the bottom. So even though this is sped up, I was doing it slowly, but with an extreme tilt. I wanted more of a steeper curve, so I did some more tilting until I was happy with the shape. I then added my base, and this was a Payne's Grey really lovely smoky grey black colour which I had thinned so it would flow easily and this was what I wanted um, the background of the painting to be. It's almost like a midnight sky colour. Once I had laid down the base I gave everything a quick torch. Now there was absolutely no silicon in any of the colours so the torch was mainly used to get rid of air bubbles and because I had mixed up the Payne's Grey earlier to thin it down there was quite a few air bubbles still in it and I was just using the torch to get rid of all of these. I did a bit of blowing out to soften the edge of the um, pour and this was where the Payne's Grey met the colours of my pour and I'm now using a toothpick just to add some feathery touches and just to make sure I'm really happy with the softness of the edge. Here's the dried canvas and I'm absolutely delighted with how it's turned out. The iridescent metallic gold looks absolutely fab against the dark colours and it's punctuated with some vibrant 
turquoise um, blue green which is iridescent as well so from a distance it looks flat but when you catch it an, at an angle it just comes alive the flatness of the um, Payne's grey which forms the majority of the canvas looks absolutely stunning against the metallic golds um, this kind of canvas tall and thin really works well for these kind of compositions and I absolutely love them because they're so dramatic. So what do you see? Is it a, the surface of a planet? Is it a waterfall? It doesn't really matter as long as you like it and for me I just think it's fabulous, mean, moody and scrumptious. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I know there's a lot of madness in the world at the moment, so the key thing is to stay safe, sane and healthy. If you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. Do take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.